Hello lovelies and welcome back to Mama G Gear. Mama G here and Rusty's at work. But we do have Van Goat. <laughs> Poppy Pop, this is for you. Alrighty, so working on this membership thing and then I want to show you some yarns that I dyed yesterday. They came out pretty cool. I tried a little different thing and I used the new base uh, from Premiere that the cat ordered. And if you haven't seen that video, it's up there. Yes, he hit the pay button and the stuff came to the house, but the money came out of my bank account. Anyway, I did a uh, try to have you look at this. I'm going to show it to you again because there was quite a few people that were, that are members of the Black Cats, yet they didn't show up as a member on Rusty's laptop. And I cannot get that information from my phone. So this is going to potentially be something we're going to have to do every month unless we figure out another way to do this. But here's the list um, Aaron and, and Mima are up here because they were on a different uh, page and whatnot. But um, a few of you had contacted me from the last video. So do check. Hopefully you could see everything. And turn the page. Let me get the reflection off of there for you. And I hope you could see and read. Uh, Yarn Bar, if you weren't sure if you were on there, you were. So you're right up here. So your ticket is actually in the bucket already. And there's a few other for you because you uh, did the gifts and stuff. And then for the new people or the ones that I missed, I have tickets and let's just put them in the bucket really here. So we're all transparency is key. And then I'll show you the yarns I did. Okay. And I also started a new stitch to, for me, a new stitch to me yesterday. Uh, I don't have that down here because it's attached to the ball of yarn. Anyway, Crafty Nisi, you're going in the bucket. Judy Hawk is in the bucket. And I had some of you here, but then somehow I must not have, I don't know what happened. Paula Mint. Tank, I love to crochet. It's in the bag with Darla. D's Creative Hands. Diana D. And then Jeannie V is a member and was a member last month and did not get a ticket last month. Like just same thing happened with llamas and pajamas. I Jude, not Jade. Um, I don't know. Like I said, that's why I'm going to do it this way. And you guys take a few seconds to make sure if you sent a, a super chat or a super sticker, um, if you gifted memberships. And also, if you sent happy mail, I've been putting those in here. We have some happy mail from people. So anyway, all of y'all get tickets for that. Plus, I did, however, um, put out a members-only community tab that gave you the four videos that I will soon be picking a random comment uh, from each of those videos and they will each, those whoever gets picked in that random, random comment will also get tickets in the bucket. So there's no cost. Y'all, y'all get a chance. Anyway, so that's hopefully, you know, you were able to either screenshot or see to make sure if you are a member and you do not see your name again, please comment that in the, in the lower in the section or email me, please let me know. Cause I don't intentionally leave anyone out. It's just technology and me. Why do I sing? I don't know. I should really stop. Anyway, so I did some yarn yesterday. I did not film myself doing the yarn, but I will show it to you here. And I had it drying. So what I did here, this is the new yarn I got from Premier, Compliments of uh, Lepithecus, like I said. Uh, it's I don't have the band here. It's on the counter, but I used, I believe this is Teddy Bear Brown. And I haven't like straightened them out yet. So there are some crinks and it's a little, you know, messy, but I use the teddy bear brown and I probably should have grabbed the wrapper and measured that into, I made up my own word, measured. It's showing up on my camera. This is showing up brighter. It's actually a very dull navy blue. And then I threw a little pop yellow in there. I think that's fluorescent lemon where it variegate you know we're here you got kind of a green shade so it's just a little bit of a pop and I believe these are you know I'm gonna put you on hold hold on all right so instead of trying to guess <laughs> let me just give you the it took me two seconds right uh okay so these are universal yarns 
They're the Superwash Merino Sock Weight. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, and there's 370 yards in each one of these, and they're 100% Superwash Merino. And what I did was, so, so for myself, because I didn't videotape it, is I wrote down sloppily, unfortunately, on the ball bands, or the Hank bands, um, the Caribbean Blue, Hot Fuchsia, and I wrote, yeah, Radioactive. I kept calling it Retroactive. That's a different one. I didn't, didn't show you that one yet. So these, this one here is not that one either. Hold on. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got it. All right. This is Teddy Bear Brown, Dark Navy, and Fluorescent Yellow, but it's actually Fluorescent Lemon. All right. So that's this, these two. Now, I mean, I could ask you this and you could write it down in the comments. 300, what I say it was 370? I'm trying to read upside down here. Let's go. Where did I see it? Oh my gosh. Why does print get small the older you get? It gets smaller and smaller. Okay, it's 370 yards or 338 meters, uh, 130 gram ball. And it's a fingering weight, I believe, or a sock weight. So, yeah, it's, you know, pretty decent size. Hope you could see that. I hope that one Hank will make a pair of socks. I still don't know that information. Even if you all told me I forgot, it doesn't stay very long in my head. Because that's what I was thinking about with this, this colorway. I wanted a little bit of a pop in there, but I wanted it to be... I figure since Christmas is coming and holidays and whatever other holiday you might celebrate at that time in December or none at all, um, I thought this would make really great socks and they're more of a masculine colorway. So that was my intention here on those two. So the what I'm I'm going to throw them over here on the table and then go to the next. Um, so I I don't have these technically for sale. But my intention in making these was to have these available if somebody maybe does want these to make socks for somebody that they uh, care about. Or even if they don't care about them, they might want to make them socks. And I will put the ball bands back on. Of course, like you see, this one ripped. So I pull them off the best I can and I'll try to get a glue stick and glue stick them back together. All right, this same base... And I used uh, the, the navy, the, the dark navy again. I used a silver gray and then a champagne color. And you can see it's kind of like a little twisted in there, but that, that will all come out when I stretch them. I just took these really off the drying rack right now, so that's why they look like this. I didn't stretch them yet, but it kind of gave it a cool, the champagne, and then there's the silver. I'm hoping that the colors are showing up pretty good and then it goes into the navy the navy blue and then there's variations of the shade of navy in both of these but I think that that's pretty cool looking it, it, it almost has I'm gonna say the word dirty <laughs> because it looks like it might look like it's dirty kind of but it's also a nice dull fade so that's another set and again one would probably make a pair so if you're making socks, you need one hank. And then, I'm gonna save my favorite for last, but this doesn't have a ball band written down on it because what I did with these two, and I hope you're getting to see this, this was really actually kind of cool. So what happened was, I if you've seen me, these are dip dyed. If you've seen me dip dye, I have a pot that I dipped the yarn in and I don't measure stuff. So there was still some of a uh, brilliant blue, which that's the, the yarns that I'll show you. And I thought, well, you know, instead of dumping that out and wasting the dye, I dipped, let's see if I can get these kind of together here. Yeah, I dipped the ends of two other hanks and I like to do hanks two by two because if you are making a larger project and not just socks, you've got more yarn because I don't reproduce this stuff. But if you are making socks and there's four, you know, four socks or two pairs. So I, I dipped in with the brilliant blue 
because it was just a little bit of dye left. So it came out kind of like a turquoisey. I know this is very dark, but there's a reason why they became dark. And I went up, I let the bottom like I do, I let the bottom sit a little bit and then I did kind of a fade going up onto the hanks and then continued on my way and I did suck up the, the uh, dye. So I was able to use, I'm gonna show it to you just so for explanation. So this, this turquoise is what was left of this color, this brilliant blue, okay? So I was able to suck up the rest of the dye and then I added into the mix, into the pot, this retroactive. And I keep saying, yeah, I keep saying retroactive. It's radioactive, and of course it's gonna be a J. Jude thing now. Radioactive, okay. So there was some radioactive left dye in the pot, so I did the other half, did the same thing where I dipped it and then let it fade into what was the blue. And then I soaked them both and just dumped them in there, okay. I think I dumped this too. When the blue, I put, both, I dipped the bottom and then drenched and submerged both hanks. And then I did the same thing when I put it in the retroactive, did I say it right, radioactive, dumped the whole, immersed both, both hanks in there again. And when I went to rinse this out, I must have had some, my hands are blue, man. They're, they're, they're still a little bit dirty, but they're much better than they were. My hands kind of look like this. Um, I had gotten a little bit of black dye on my hand and a piece of black got onto the radioactive. And I was like, oh man, because it was like one spot on one hank and that was it. I'm like, geez, that kind of ruins because now you got like a black spot, it's gonna look weird. So while, after I rinsed them, I had them in the sink and I just took toner black, which I keep calling it tonal black, but it's toner black. And I just sprinkled toner black on the hanks and then flipped them over and sprinkled more without any citric acid, without any uh, hot water, you know, dip stuff and let it sit a hot sec and then rinsed them out. And that's how we've got this crazy, gorgeous, in my opinion, very cool looking segue of colors. I mean, I think this is cool as beans, man. Look at the blacks in there. I can't, I, I'm shocked that it, uh, there's actually fuzz in there. That's part of the, the fiber when they get them. There's actually hay in here. Hey, what are you doing in here? Oh, and the little pain in the butts here too. So anyway, that's how these turned out. But look at how cool. And that's that one Hank. And then we've got this other one. So these are going to be crub. And there's a little person here. And I, you know, some, some of these were tied tight. I didn't tighten them, but there is a little bit of spots. I'm noticing here, which, oh yeah, look at that. But in the scheme of things, it'll be like a pop. You know, I don't think it's going to be, because when you're crocheting, it's going to be one little spot as you go. So I don't think it'll be. And there's some in the hanks themselves, but I thought these were really total cool. And this was just cleaning up the mess. All right. So on, 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 on. I'm just carrying on, carrying on, carrying on. Okay. And then my two favorite. Now those that you just saw, those will probably be available or be given in a in a um, giveaway or whatever. These two, however, I will probably keep. Because <laughs> I only, have, after the last thing we did, I only kept uh, three Hanks, and those are the ones that uh, Rusty had called out for. So what I did here, and I already showed you the blue. So we've got the brilliant blue, and it's showing purple there. This is definitely blue. This looks like my hair. Up, oh, and he's playing with the no, don't, don't touch the of all the things. Please don't touch a tripod. Um, so I did the brilliant blue, and it is very blue. It's very bright blue. And then I did the fade, and then I did hot pink, and I did. You can see where there's purple there, and then I did a fade up. This was hot pink fade and then did the radioactive, okay? So this is, this color came out of a combination of the radioactive and what was on there of the hot pink. And there is Lipithecus. 
which I love this. It's like a burnt orange with, with other variations in there. It's so freaking cool. And then we have the radioactive. And then where the radioactive hit where I had the brilliant blue, it turned into this amazing green. I'm just super stoked about it. I, and this I let sit longer. That's why this is darker here and a little lighter here. Because again, I drop it and I leave the bot. I dip it, pull it up so that you have a gradient of color. And look at what it created. And you're not even getting the... It's not showing up. Again, anytime you see hanks of yarn on camera, you do, you're not getting the true beauty of it. You really aren't. Uh, and anybody who has received yarn, hand-dyed yarn from anybody from here will tell you that's the truth. But these two, as this moment, are going to be mine because I just think it's so cool what happened. Unless I could reproduce this, you know. That's why I usually videotape them. But I was like, eh, you know, it's like throwing, throwing, it was rainy out. And I thought, eh, I'll dye some yarn instead of cleaning the house. So anyway, that's what I did. So those are the yarns we have. And there's a lot. And I will be dying more, uh, not today. I have other things I'm doing. I actually am working on a new stitch. Let's, let me lay them out here and then that could be the thumbnail, right? Aren't they cool? I mean, really? I, I really enjoy doing this. I really enjoy dyeing yarn and it's, you know, it's fun. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm making, just piling them all up. So I got, uh, two, four, six, eight. Eight hanks that I made. Really digging this, though. I think this is going to be nice, like, guy socks. I, I Not to be sexist, but, you know, more man, manly socks. Same with the grays and the champagne and the in the navy. But anyway, yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. And I love you guys. I'm going to lay these out, maybe take a photo of it, and that could be the thumbnail. And we'll even put our little buddy in here. And guess who says goodbye to you? <coughs> you got it, Mr. Van Goat. Hey, love you guys. Thanks for staying. Don't forget the thummies. Um, if you like what you see, subscribe. And hopefully these will, these, these hanks of yarn, once I twist them up, I can maybe take a photo of them and uh, they might be available for at some point for something all right love you have a yarnalicious day and we will talk to you soon bye bye for now